Hello and welcome. I am glad that you decided to join us on a journey through the mysterious history of an old Polish castle. My name is Pat and I will be your guide tonight. All right, let's dive in. Kuzistopa Castle. It is located in southern Poland in the Switokrzyski province. In the village of Wujazd, the castle was built by Count Krzysztof Oswalinski from April 28, 1587 to February 24, 1645. A Polish-Lithuanian nobleman, Slachik, Oswalinski belonged to one of the most renowned Polish noble families of the time. He studied in Poland and abroad at the Jesuit College in Lublin and at the universities of Wurzburg, Bologna and Padua. He traveled extensively in Italy. He held several important positions, most notably the position of the province of San Domiez. At the beginning of the 17th century, the Ossolinsky family acquired land near Iwaniska, which his father, Krzysztof Ossolinsky, donated to him in 1619, shortly thereafter, probably in 1620. One, the owner initiated the construction of Krzysztofor Castle in the village of Ujaz. The reason for the construction was a spiritual gathering of young nobles in 1619, with the aim of summoning the spirit of King Boleslaw, first the brave, from 967 to June 17, 1025, to seek advice on how Poland should face foreign invasions. They failed to summon the spirit, but they succeeded in establishing a connection with an unknown intelligence based on which the Count built Krzysztopor Castle. The author of its design is unknown, but it could have been an architect associated with the Roman circle of Vignola's successors. The builder wore Zyni Xenes, an architect born on the border between Italy and Switzerland, who closely collaborated with the Ossolinsky family, may have had a significant influence on the final appearance of the structure. He is credited with the construction of the Collegiate Church in Klimontau, financed by Chancellor Jerzy Ossolinsky, Krzysztof's brother. He probably also worked on other investments of the Ossolinsky family. The monumental residence was built in a surprisingly short time. Already in 1644, distinguished guests, including King Ladislaw IV, arrived at the castle to witness the wedding of the owner's son, Krzysztof Baldwin. In the following years, finishing and furnishing works likely took place. Perhaps Krzysztof Baldwin continued the work after his father's death in 1645. Unfortunately, four years later, he fell in the Battle of Zovka and left no heirs. It has unusual architectural elements in the shape of a pentagram. It was intended to be a sanctuary of time and therefore the building had 366 windows. The number of days in a year with the last window being bricked up and opened only in a leap year. 52 rooms. The number of weeks in a year. 12 ballrooms. The number of months in a year. 4 towers. The number of seasons. The fortification has a pentagram shaped wall and an octagonal bastion at each corner. It has a side length of 74 meters. The length of the structure is 120 meters. The width is 95 meters. The total area is 9,300 square meters. The construction cost 30 million zloty. The sanctuary was supposed to facilitate communication between the living, the dead, and the future. As the construction of Krzysztopor Castle progressed, rumors began to circulate among the workers about strange occurrences within the labyrinthine corridors. Whispers of an otherworldly presence grew as workers shared chilling tales of inexplicable vanishings. The disappearances were shrouded in mystery. Ten individuals, skilled craftsmen and laborers alike, seemingly vanished into thin air before the eyes of their startled colleagues. No trace of them was ever found, leaving behind only a deep sense of unease among those who continued to toil within the castle's walls. The Count, Desperate to complete his ambitious vision, sought to address the disconcerting situation. Determined to solve the mystery and ensure the safety of his workers, he enlisted the help of renowned experts in various fields, including architects, engineers, and spiritualists. Experts examined the castle's plans 
and delved into its history, seeking clues to the baffling disappearances. Some speculated that the unique architectural elements, particularly the pentagram shape, had inadvertently opened the gateway to another realm where the lost workers were trapped. Others believe that the castle's connection to the unknown intelligence summoned during the spiritual gathering held the key to unraveling the mystery. In an attempt to appease the spirits and restore harmony within the castle, the Count organized a series of ceremonies and rituals. Priests and spiritual mediums were invited to perform exorcisms and cleanse the premises, hoping to release any lingering spirits that may have played a role in the mysterious vanishing. As time passed, the disappearances ceased and the construction continued. The Count, driven by an unwavering determination to fulfill his vision, doubled the wages of the workers, recognizing the immense risks they faced in completing the castle. The increased remuneration served as both a testament to their bravery and a means to attract new workers to replace those lost to the castle's enigmatic forces. Despite the unsettling incidents, Krizista Poor Castle rose majestically, its towering walls standing as a testament to Count Ossolinsky's ambition and resilience. The completion of the sanctuary marked a triumph over adversity, a defiance against the forces that sought to hinder its construction. Yet, the mysteries surrounding the vanished workers remained unresolved. Their fate became enmeshed in the castle's lore, whispered among the locals, and passed down through generations. Superstitions and legends grew, attributing the disappearances to otherworldly beings and restless spirits. To this day, as visitors explore the corridors of Krizistapur Castle, a subtle air of unease lingers. The shadows seem to hold secrets, and the walls bear the weight of the castle's tumultuous past. The memory of the vanished workers serves as a reminder of the inexplicable forces that once played the construction, adding an extra layer of intrigue and mystique to the castle's already rich history. One fateful night during the Second World War, a group of resistance fighters sought refuge within the underground chambers of Kurzistopor Castle. With the Nazi occupation tightening its grip on the region, the castle's hidden passages offered a glimmer of hope and safety for those who dared to defy the oppressors. The resistance fighters, a mix of brave men and women sought solace within the castle's ancient walls. They had heard whispers of its history, the tales of resilience and defiance that permeated its stone. It was said that the castle held secrets, secrets that could inspire and unite those who fought against tyranny. The underground chambers became a bustling hub of activity, with makeshift beds, supplies, and a hidden radio transmitter that connected the resistance fighters with the outside world. Within the dimly lit corridors, the air was thick with anticipation and camaraderie. Plans were devised, messages were encoded, and hope was kept alive amidst the turmoil of war. The castle's hidden chambers provided a sanctuary for not only the resistance fighters, but also for civilians fleeing persecution. Families found refuge within the castle's cold embrace, their eyes reflecting both fear and determination. In those darkest of times, Krizis to a poor castle became a beacon of hope, a symbol of resistance against oppression. As the war raged on, the castle faced constant threats from enemy forces. Nazi patrols scoured the surrounding area, searching for any trace of the resistance fighters. The castle's defenders, fueled by unwavering resolve, devised intricate escape routes and concealed hideaways to outwit their pursuers. The underground chambers echoed with whispered conversations, a blend of urgency and caution. News of victories and losses from the front lines seeped into the castle's depths, a reminder of the high stakes of their resistance. Yet, amidst the constant tension, moments of respite emerged as laughter and song reverberated through the stone corridors, momentarily washing away the burdens of war. The resistance fighters' presence within Krizizitopor Castle became part of its storied history. Each room and passage held fragments of their struggle, etching their bravery into the very fabric of the castle's walls. The spirits of those who fought and sacrificed within its depths seemed to linger, 
their courage inspiring future generations to stand against injustice. Today, as visitors explore the ruins of Kurzistopor Castle, they are reminded of the resilience and sacrifice that once filled its halls. The underground chambers, once teeming with life, now stand in solemn silence, their secrets locked away in the annals of history. Yet, the echoes of the resistance fighters' footsteps and whispered conversations can still be faintly heard, a reminder of their indomitable spirit and unwavering dedication to freedom. In 1944, a group of Soviet soldiers embarked on a daring mission to explore the underground chambers of Kurdistopo Castle. Their objective was to search for their fellow soldiers who had mysteriously vanished while investigating the ruins. The atmosphere inside the castle was eerie, with the faint whispers of the past echoing through the dimly lit corridors. As the group ventured deeper into the labyrinthine catacombs, they stumbled upon a set of ancient, ornately carved doors. Intrigued by the secrets they concealed, the soldiers cautiously pried them open. However, the sights that greeted them beyond those doors would forever haunt their memories. Among the soldiers was Vasil Papuchin, a young and courageous fighter. Unbeknownst to him, fate had a pivotal role for him to play. As the doors creaked open, the unit commander assigned Papuchin the task of standing guard outside, his keen eyes scanning the surroundings for any signs of danger. Little did he know that this seemingly simple command would ultimately save his life. Inside the chamber, the remaining soldiers were greeted by an otherworldly sight. A misty white fog enveloped the space, shrouding it in an aura of mystery. Whispers seemed to emanate from the mist, as if the castle's ancient walls were revealing their long-held secrets. The soldiers cautiously pressed forward, drawn by an inexplicable force that seemed to beckon them deeper into the unknown. Suddenly, the air crackled with a surge of energy, and the soldiers were overwhelmed by a blinding light. Their shouts of astonishment quickly turned into cries of terror as one by one, they vanished into thin air, leaving no trace behind. The only witness to this inexplicable phenomenon was Papuchin, stationed just outside the chamber, his heart racing with fear and confusion. As the mist dissipated, Papuchin cautiously peered into the chamber, his eyes wide with disbelief. All that remained was an empty room devoid of life, with no trace of his comrades. It was as if they had been swallowed by the castle itself, becoming part of its ancient lore. From that moment on, Papuchin's life took a different trajectory. He became plagued by vivid nightmares, reliving the fateful day at Kursistopor Castle. His mind was consumed by questions. What had happened to his fellow soldiers? Where had they gone? The truth seemed forever out of reach, locked away within the enigmatic walls of the castle. Today, the ruins of Kurzistopor Castle stand as a testament to its turbulent history. Visitors can explore its crumbling corridors and imagine the echoes of the past that still reverberate within its walls. The castle's underground chambers, once an enigma, now hold an air of caution and mystery reminding all who enter of the soldiers who ventured into the depths and never returned. The legend of their disappearance persists, leaving an indelible mark on the castle's haunting legacy. Thank you very much for listening to this interesting story. Hope you have enjoyed it as much as I did. If you have any information that I missed or got wrong, please put them in the comments under this video. I'd love to build a community of people who like to hear about historical, mystical, weird, and the scary. Also, my goal is to create videos about not-so-known mainstream events, however. If there is something you'd like me to make video about, please let me know, and if you've got a story that should be heard, send me a message. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.